guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay. I don't know how in the world this show is gonna end, especially with last week's episode. <laughs> oh, you're okay. She must be dreaming about the past. But that kind of indicates, yeah, she's still okay. You gonna kill her, sister? That's not a room. Are you gonna push her down there? I mean, y'all ain't give her. Yeah, you kind of get. Not really. Yeah. So this had to be when she was living under Pepper. So then what the heck was her actual name then? If her name isn't Pepper. <laughs> this show's gonna end with more questions <laughs> rather than answers that I know. I just, I know it. I know it is. I know it is. I have that feeling so freaking bad. And then literally either after... While this is editing, I'm just going to be like, alright, time to read the manga. As much as I can. Or maybe even next week. Because the show was just too good. Confusing at times, yes. But it was good. And I enjoyed it. I think I'm like probably one of a few who really finished the show. And did a reaction on it. Because, mm, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, in the beginning with the first half, yes, it was hyped. Everybody was really excited for this. And having other YouTubers talk about it, it made the hype for it even more. But because of the fact is with quarantine and everything and this show going to be postponed, the hype slowly died. And I feel like only people who are fans of the manga and then the new fans who came in strictly from the anime are the only ones who are left. And I was one of them. And I'm glad I was able to watch the show. Mm. So freaking underrated. See, Pepper, I, I want to know that too because. Where is she? But they had, like I said, they had to kill her sister because how? Who knows how many days is that? Oh. Are you gonna pepper pep? This girl just killed somebody over a spider, but it was seven. I mean, um. What's your problem? Hmm? Oh, seven, right? It looks like her. 
No, because she's able to control her. Oh. Well, I love the fact that they keep the context of how she got that scar, but oh. Oh, okay. Um, so you didn't kill the guy. You just took the spider and just killed the spider. Oh, okay. Girl. You would think they would give her a prosthetic one or a robotic arm. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about her. <laughs> I thought she died. <laughs> well, let's hope Chris doesn't come up, you know. Are you going to go see a little bit? Okay, we're talking about 
pepper. Are we talking about seven? Okay, I'm just gonna talk about pepper. And then we're gonna talk about seven. So would they be like a Jane Doe? Pepper wish Nah. She just went out. Go to the store. My freaking thing is, we didn't get to see the whole full fight last week, so I thought we would have won. Ooh. Oh, okay, oh my god. No. So are we gonna get that contact or thank you. Thank you, because if we would have skipped it. But he can't stop it though. She's sure that's anything.
but where would they take him though? I mean, it could go anywhere. See, the manga. Manga! Oh my god. Something suspicious about that woman. But you miss him. He was like your only other friend besides your sister, and we don't know what happened to your sister, so she could be dead. Heck, she could be one of them twins. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you deserve to be free. Mm -hmm. Even though you're not human, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
then you have Ben and Mary, and Chris, and Petro, and Olivier, and anybody else you Good, you're having more of a speaking role because I mean, y'all, we showed up at the, be at the beginning. And I'm thinking we're not gonna talk, talk. Oh. It started with these three and it ended with these three. That was the biggest thing I wanted. <laughs> okay, all right. So, final thoughts on the show. This was a very good fucking show. I mean, it's hella underrated. Um, if I had a chance, I wish I could erase my memory and rewatch it all over again and fall over, fall in love with it all over again. I mean, because I would in a heartbeat. Um, it still does leave a lot of questions more than answers. Like, hopefully she finds his partner. I mean, all I can say is time to start to read the manga. Either from wherever this chapter ended for the anime or from the beginning. I mean, if I read it from the beginning, it could give me a little more context than I had for all 24 episodes. I mean, going into this episode, I was assuming that we were going to see the rest of the fight, which we kind of really didn't. We just got to see the last few minutes of Pep uh, yeah, not Pepper, Sever 7 being taken away by the twins and wondering who the heck are the twins. I love the fact that we got to learn a little bit about Pepper's past because she was one of the only other characters that I really wanted to know about because she was very mysterious and we really knew nothing. I am sad that the show is over because the show was so good. And I don't know. I, I really have nothing else to say. It, it ended good. That's all I'll say. It ended good. I, I still have a little bit of mm, like I still need a little more context but really that's what the manga's for. I mean it's like that would almost like any series that I've watched that is also based on a manga, and typically, usually, they just get one season and one season only, and then you have to read the rest of that source material just to see what would happen next. Um, if it were to get a season two, even though I don't think it will be possible, I maybe would say like two to four years from now, so either 2022 or 2024, and let's just say for some weird reason, like, it did good. Um, enough to get another season. I would still want the Juzo for trying to find his partner. Um, Tetsudo moving on from his image of what he used to be to what he is now. Mary having another conversation with her brother. Um, Pepper dealing with the loss of Seven, but maybe also trying to get Seven back. And then also getting, you know, a prosthetic arm. Or a robotic arm. I mean, we're in freaking technically the future where everything is robotic as fuck and Pepper should have <laughs> an arm. I'm just saying. It's a little unfair because, I mean, even seeing her cry over Seven was just really emotional. I mean, even though I didn't cry, but, like, inside I felt, like, what she was feeling because Pepper and Seven, their relationship 
from what we had seen, even in this last episode, was really good. I mean, we don't really know the context of seven, not seven, Pepper and her sister. Yeah, Pepper and yeah, Pepper and her sister. What happened to them to lead up to where they were at the beginning of this episode? Where is Pepper's sister? Is she dead? Is she alive? And so you kind of have to think, oh, okay, like 50% of me thinks she's dead, or the other 50 thinks me sh thinks she's alive, something ish, whatever. But because of the fact is this ends on like an open ending, and typically shows that have that open ending don't really get a second season unless it's really, you know, popular. I have to say the CGI, it there were times where the CGI was eh, and then there was, like, good moments. But, I, and I would say, like, maybe what, like, last week was, like, a, an example of, like, eh? Because I was like, did we need to do um, the arm and everything and have them both in CGI? Did we need the CGI people? Because it, it kind of gave me feels towards, like, not only Persona 5, the animation, um any other anime that's like, okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and use some CGI people just to kind of save money on a budget. I don't know how much budget they get to make a 24, 12 episode series, but sometimes, I, and I'm gonna, because like Overlord did that ish too around like season, season two? No, like, either, it's a fancy, because it's been a while since I've watched Overlord. Um, so, like, season, either season three and four, or just season four, because the quality dropped, like, drastically with the CGI and adding it, and I'm like, you know, as someone who reacted to Kimono Friends, which was one of, like, the highest things on my very first channel, that's good CGI, but then if you're looking at CGI like this, or CGI like Persona 5, or CGI, um, for anything, that, I kind of say, that's kind of, like, the bad example, because, like I said, with this, there was good moments, and then there were bad moments, but, I mean, overall, it was a very good, underrated show, I hate the fact that this show is now over, because, I mean, next week, all my fall anime start, mostly, and it, it's just gonna be weird, really, because, I truly enjoyed this show, and it's gonna, I don't know, it might take me a week or two just to get over it and be like, damn, like, we're not really getting any more episodes of this show. It's kind of how, like, with some of my friends who were really, really emotional, including myself, over SAO ending last Saturday, and knowing that we were not gonna get SAO Saturdays anymore, probably for a while, until, um, progression, or, pro yeah, until that sequel spinoff finally gets animated, but... Other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you towards the series No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially in October for the start of fall anime. Bye, guys.